Hey y'all, it's me, Kiana. Um, I had to make this video real quick with Daddy gone, right? Alright. I know I'm too old for this. And I know y'all will be saying... <laughs> I almost can't get it out. Uh, I know y'all will be saying stuff about me. But while, while on YouTube last night I was looking at Trey Songs. Y'all know how I feel about Trey Songs, alright? If you look back on some of my videos, yeah, I be mentioning Trey Songs every now and then, right? And it's not like by accident. Alright, why I found out he be looking at YouTubers? Why y'all had to tell me that? So, I had to put my halter dress on this morning. Look, y'all. And I'm coming at you, Trey Songs. <laughs> No, for real, I'm coming at you. No. <laughs> Y'all know. Like, come on now. Trey Songz is like eye candy, for real. And, yeah, I, I wouldn't leave Charles. I wouldn't leave Chucky. Yeah, I wouldn't leave him. But, I had to tell him I'm going on vacation for a little while. That's that's all I'm saying. Like, yeah, I would have to tell him, like, you know, I'll make sure I cook all y'all food and stuff like that. And, like, put it in, like, some Tupperwares in the refrigerator. But, yeah, I'm going to have to go on vacation for a little while. And I'm going to wash up y'all clothes and everything before I leave. But, yeah, I'm going to have to go on vacation for a little while. I'll come back home, though. But, yeah. I had to go on the road with Trey. But listen, I'm not saying I'm going to go on the road and do nothing, right? Because what, what had happened was, what I would do prior is we would, like, hold some, like, some prayer groups and some prayer meetings and stuff. And we would bring the baby, I mean, the holy oil and stuff like that. And, yeah, so, so Trey, I just want to, like, you know, sit down and talk to you and, you know, you know, fix you some meals and wash some clothes and wash your drawers and and all you know like help you out and stuff so if you doing this like i mean i usually look better than this you know what i'm saying i usually like i'll be wearing makeup and stuff like that and you know i would be like real good to have on like your team and stuff because you know i'll be helping out and stuff And like, I don't look like this usually. Like, I got up early. It's like, just turned 8 09, right? And you see, like, I can, you can tell I just woke up a little bit and everything. But I put some, like, lip gloss on for you. And I put these big earrings on for you and stuff. And, like, I got good hair and stuff. So, see? No, this ain't a wig, though. No, I got, I got Indian in my family. And, um, I put this halter dress on for you. See? I, I mean, I know it's fall and everything, but, but see, I be putting, like, a crop jacket on with it. Yeah, if you look at some of my videos, like, you'll see, um, how you can dress up summer clothes and stuff into fall. Yeah, that's what this came from. And, um, I'm just saying, I just think that you really, you really got a lot of talent and you real, real fine, right? And, I mean, I know I'm pushing 40 and stuff, but, but see, I'm seasoned, what they call seasoned. Like, don't you know how, like, cast, um, cast on pans are and stuff? Them big pans like your grandmother used to use and stuff? And what she used to call those pans is she used to call them seasoned pans. And that's how, like, the food used to come out real good and stuff. So, I'm like those cast on pans. I'm, I'm sturdy and I'm, I'm, um, seasoned and stuff. So... That's what I think that you should, like, look for in a woman. I think you should look for a sturdy, seasoned woman like me. No, y'all think I'm joking and stuff. No, seriously, I hope that Trey Songz look at this. Seriously. Like, anybody that, like, have some connections with Trey Songz, can you give him this, this message? Because, you know, I'm taking time out of my morning to do this. And I just think that he's something special. You know, I mean, I don't know you and all, but I could just tell you special. I like, I could tell that you blessed. And, 
you know, and I can just tell that she's special. I'll be looking at your concerts on, like, on YouTube, and, like, you really be doing some stuff on your your concerts, some, some, some questionable, some stuff that I can't really address on here, but, like, if you just make sure you contact me and personal message me and stuff, and we can talk about it and stuff like that, and, um... And don't let that intimidate you that, you know, I'm married and everything like that. Because, like I said, I just want to be your friend and, you know, y'all heard that thunder. <laughs> that be coming from my computer. But why I be coming at certain times? You notice that, like, I think that's God trying to tell me something, like, in color purple. When she was like, I have some married now. And then she was like, sin has got soul too. You know, I think that they will be trying to tell me something. <laughs> Good old clean fun, y'all. This just for fun. Calm down. Please do not send me no, oh, Lord, sending me, like, videos of how you're not supposed to do this. It's this one lady. I wasn't even going to say nothing. It's this one lady. She just makes my skin crawl. I'm not even going to say her name, though. But she be doing videos, and you could tell she go to a church or something that you know they can't wear makeup or nothing like that. And why I just seen yesterday she did a video, right, with a whole bunch of makeup on, a whole bunch of hair, and a ridiculous amount of jewelry. Rings, like three rings on each finger, and necklaces all around her neck. And the point she was trying to make was, as she's taking it off, was, see, these are distractions in the, in the church. And... People not going to get the word. First of all, if they just looking at your jewelry and stuff, they don't want the word. They not there for the word. Okay, first and foremost. And if you really hungry for the word, my belief is it don't matter what you doing. If you really hungry, it's a difference of wanting the word, listening to the word, and hungry for the word. And a lot of babes in Christ are hungry for the word. Okay. It don't matter if you got on makeup or not. If a person is really seeking God's word. So that's just my beliefs. Um, then it just made me. It made my skin crawl. Because when when you go to those churches that are so Pentecostal to the point where they don't. they The long black dresses and the, the little dually on your head and all that kind of stuff. The old religious. And there's a difference. You Christians know. It's a difference between being Christian, spiritual, and religious. Religious, being religious is not a positive um, thing as far as in, in the word of God. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, so it just made me see that those type of people, when they look at people like you and I, they look at us as not God-like or she actually looks at when she see a woman example me on here with makeup on she sees the extreme meaning that if I have jewelry on in her eyes she sees somebody with five rings on each finger and 25 necklaces and two wigs on top of her head at the same time so this is what they see this is their perception of us and it just makes me wonder well just because you're distracted by someone adorning their, their physical body, just because you're distracted by someone wanting to enhance their beauty or enhance their features, just because you're distracted by your insecurities, okay, you're going to push them off on me and, and assume that everybody else around is also distracted. No, baby, it's your insecurities. Okay, and you know who I'm talking about. I mean, many of you know who I'm talking about, and she probably every now and then be trying to come get makeup tips. It's just that you can't fully do them. You know, don't get mad because you don't know how to cut a crease yet, or don't get mad because you know you don't you haven't found what color works for you, or don't get mad because you know you don't know what body type you are, what clothing looks good on that. Don't get mad about that. You know, if you go to a couple of my girls on here. You can learn all that. And I guarantee you, those types are usually like that because 
they feel as though they're not beautiful or they feel as though um, it's a lost cause to try to beautify themselves. And that's what I think it boils down to. So that's just my opinion. But <clears throat> I'm the type of person I like to have fun. I like to laugh. Every day I got to get at least seven chuckles in like Kate Williams used to say. You know, get my seven chuckles in by any means necessary. And I get mine in. Okay, y'all know I get mine in. If I got to get it in on here, I gets it in. So, again, I'm sorry to branch off Trey songs that, you know, I had branched off on, you know, that lady. But she just made me mad. And I usually don't get mad. So don't think that, like, I'm, you know, going, like, lash out at you or nothing like that. I'm, I'll be really nice to you and stuff. And I'll give you a back rub and, um... And stuff like that after you get off the stage and stuff. And look, I know how to cook too. If you look at some of my cooking shows and stuff, I be cooking and stuff like I be fixing like like Miss Tina just taught me yesterday how to make fried cabbage and bacon. And I can fix you some of that. And um yeah, I'm gonna fix you some of Miss Tina fried cabbage and um and bacon and then I can fix you stuff like um you know the fattening food that people be saying that I be fixing. I be knowing y'all be talking about me. Don't think I don't know y'all be talking about me. You know what I'm saying? I know which ones who do and I know which ones who don't. So just know that I know. You see the finger. Just know that I know that you be talking about me. Yup, I fix fat and food and I'm happy. Yeah, I got my man. I'm happy. My kids is here with me. Yeah, we good. So, um, yeah, so, again, this was just for Trey and whoever else wanted to view, but mainly for you Trey so it's all for you baby all for you so you guys I'm out until later cause you know I'm gonna do another video but um whenever the mood hits me I'm gonna do it so I love you guys be blessed <laughs>